Good morning. I'm not going to lie, it's been a rough couple of weeks. It's just been so quiet, customer wise and definitely CX wise. I've done one job so far this year on the CX. Luckily enough, my customers kept me busy enough for the rest of their time. But it's still been quiet and I don't think in the last couple of weeks I've actually done a five day week like I normally would. So, well, it's Thursday today, so I'm talking about Wednesday. But actually, I'm going to go back to Tuesday. So Tuesday, I uh, I know pallets of mine, which uh, were my customers, so I had nothing on. So I thought I'll load them all in the van, about eight pallets, and go and dump them around at their yard, get rid of them, and then I'll try and have a look on the CX and try and find a job. So I did that in the morning, dropped them off in the yard, probably about 11. Went apart to around the corner. So I have two hours bidding, 50 odd bids, nothing. Not a single quote, and I was quoting less than a pound a mile for a long wheelbase jobs. I didn't get anything, honestly. Absolutely dire it was. Um, then I got an email. Um, do you want to do this job? So I looked through it and what a job it was i was like yep that's my job i'll do that i'm not subbing that out i'll do it myself that is a mega job so what was the job the job was collecting stockport that day tuesday collecting wellingborough monday morning uh, wednesday morning collect back in stockport again wednesday after that and then go collecting glasgow and then delivering inverness at 8 a.m thursday morning well, I'm classing that all as one day because I've, obviously it's Thursday morning now and I'm free. I've got nothing to do. I mean, I'm in Inverness where there's no work, but I've got nothing to do because so that was all yesterday's job. And that was a grand total of 711 miles and 13 hours of driving. Now, I don't condone overly driving, but when it's been so quiet and you've got to get the money in, you've just got to put the effort in, you've got to put that hard work in, and you've just got to do it. And that's what I did. So, as you know, this video is called the thousand pound day. So it was actually one thousand and sixty three pound plus back that I charged for that job, and the customer was happy with that. Um, which is a, a mega day, uh, but it did involve a night out in Inverness. I was actually in a place called Nairn. I think it's like 25 minutes from Inverness and I drove here this morning um, but mega mega day mega money for one day and I'm really really happy with it it's really it's actually really started the week out because it's been so quiet recently it's been ridiculous but as I said it was a night out in Inverness and that's not something I like to do I did have to get a hotel because obviously it's minus six down here, uh, up here even, and uh, I wasn't going to sleep in the van in that sort of temperature. So I slept in a hotel in Nairn, £39 for the night, absolutely perfect, single bed, single room, perfect. That's all I need, get my head down, get some sleep, and get back on the road in the morning, which I am doing. I don't like staying out, I don't like being away from my wife and kids, I really don't. I'd rather be at home every night, and I'd rather take the dead miles and run home most of the time, but I couldn't put it, I couldn't. I couldn't do that with this one. I had to stay out because obviously I was collecting Glasgow and then delivering in Inverness the next morning. So it had to be like that. Now, there's no way that I could have made that money running on the CX. It's impossible. Um, like for that time period, that many miles, you, even in a long wheelbase job, if you're running that much, you, you're, not, you're still not going to make that money in one day. Most people struggle to make that one, one money in one week. So I do think, like I've said all along, you need to push and push and push and try and get your own customers rather than just relying on the CX all the time. Especially at the minute, the CX is dead. Dead as a dodo. I, I've been looking at it, well, since January to now. I've not really used it. Like I said, I've done one job. And the times where I've actually been quiet and had no work to do and be trying to find a job then I've not actually been able to get one with like over 50 quotes in the day 
uh, I'm not I'm not received one um, and I did make that video about it being oversaturated which I, I still believe it is really really oversaturated and I don't think at the minute anybody else should join the CX as their main source of income it's a lot of money to put in there's a lot of money to run a van and there's not much money coming out back to people at the minute uh, jobs are going cheap and there's not that many jobs so I really at the minute would not recommend jumping into the CX if you are thinking about it I would recommend if you do want to become a courier and you've got your own van etc and the right insurance maybe speak to your local courier companies and try and sub for them first at least until you know the CX is actually working and picked up again because at the minute it's not picking up uh, as quickly as it should be and the workload has definitely dropped quite significantly um, and I just I don't think that joining now you'd make a profit you'd end up putting yourself in debt and it's not not a good place to be um, so yeah like what also I'd like to say that today oh yesterday isn't the only day ever that I've made a thousand pound in a day it's probably one of the only days that I've made a thousand pound to myself. Uh, I subby a lot of jobs out, so if I've got four, five, six months out a day, I can make more than that in a day. But then I've got to pay a lot. Well, I can charge more than that in a day, but then I've got to pay a lot of it out to subbies. So yesterday I actually had three other vans out uh, and me, and I probably made about 50 to 60 pound off the other three vans, if that, after paying them to do the jobs. Um, so doing the job myself is always going to be more money for me and I actually subbed a job out which was shorter than this about six months ago it was about 600 miles in total it was a bit of a run around it was like here there and everywhere and there was a night out involved and I got charged 400 pound more than I'm charging for this job for a Luton to do it and I didn't make any money off that job because the customer won't pay any extra so I didn't make any penny someone else made a lot of money off that job I didn't make any so if I do the jobs myself I can make more money which I've actually been looking quite into quite a bit recently and personally if I go out and buy a van put a driver in it and pay them a wage I can make more money percentage wise than if I sub it out to a CX driver which is, uh, is interesting but obviously then you've got to think of uh, holidays and stuff like that where the van's going to be off the road and drivers are going to be off the road but yeah it's one to think about right I, that's me rambling I'm just going on now so thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe and if you've got any questions to ask me leave them in the comments and I'll answer them either via a video or I'm answering them in the comments thank you very much bye bye